Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Final Fantasy III for the NES. And I went ahead and equipped that Genji glove and powered myself out of that room. There was kind of no reason to show that on screen, because all it did was take me a minute to fight random monsters once again. And we're trying to get somewhere here, and I'm trying to cut out a little bit of the extra work here. Anyway, we're pretty much about halfway through the cave of the darkness here. Uh, at the bottom is uh, an item that will break those fourth sets of statues that will get us to the uh, quote-unquote last place. Of course, we could enter the last place now. Well, after we finish this area. Or we could head back to um, what's her face there? Uh, Dorga and Un. Them two. Because uh, they did request that we stop by. This place is getting more and more confusing. I need me map. Excuse me one second. Alright, there we go. Now, what this place is doing now, the reason why I'm stopping to look at a map, is uh, it has multiple sections that we can travel to that all lead to the same room. So there's like three hallways, invisible hallways that all lead to the same thing. And you have to choose the right one to get to the actual next area. Or else you're just gonna walk in big circles. And I'd rather not walk in big circles. And it's also not apparent that which one you need to go to just by looking at it. So why, why deal with all the nonsense when we can keep moving? It's not like these enemies are giving me any trouble. They're just kind of slowing me down. Alright, so we need the third one here. I do like these lizard men's bloody swords. little effect for the NES. A lot of the enemies now down here are green. We're upstairs they're all yellow. And they're all green. Gotta gotta fight our pallet swaps, I guess. Alright, so you can see that the room is right below us, so that was, I guess, our, supposed to be our hint. We got a Kiku Sword, another one. Now, I could put both Kiku Swords on one guy, or I could make Roll that much stronger. And apparently he's a lot stronger than Luck at this point now. <laughs> That's fine. So we head down here, get ambushed once again. Now it seems my defense when I'm ambushed is so low. And these guys are apparently all moving very fast. So, obviously, we need to heal. So, let's do so. Now, you may notice that I have magic points. Because... These characters can actually use heal spells. Not many. Might as well use them up. It's not like I'm going to be using them in battle. in that same one. There we go. 
And if I really wanted to. I remember I got him that extra cure. Alright, we're doing a lot better now, so we can move on. We'll probably immediately get ambushed again. As we go down, it seems that the uh, amount of enemies we face and the configurations of the enemies we face are getting stronger. They haven't given us truly tough monsters that I can't fell in one hit, but they're getting faster, so they get a few hits on me before I can kill them all, and that's that, huh? I will say I'm glad my skill is improving, because... That will mean that my switching to the next uh, class won't be as arduous when it comes to capacity. Because they only allow you so much capacity, the enemies do not give that much capacity. Luckily they did that away, uh, did away with that rather, uh, completely in the remake. Instead, what they did was that when you switch jobs, you have this kind of period where all your stats are lower, like this kind of acclimating to the new job duration, and the duration changes based on, you know, what, from what class to what class you're going to. But of course, when you're switching from, say, a fighter to a mage, you still have zero magic points, so... <laughs> you still have to deal with that. And the funny thing about the remake is... They never took out the... Uh, Dungeons & Dragons style magic system out of the remake. They left it, you know, you have this many cure ones, uh, this many first level spells, this many second level spells, etc. When they changed that in FF1, they didn't change it in FF3 Remake. I guess they felt it was more necessary in this game than they did in the first one. Who knows? Who knows what the thought process was here? This place is still going, and I apologize. <laughs> it is a rather long dungeon. And the biggest problem is I'm gonna have to... I think I have to walk out. When that happens, I will definitely do that off-screen. I actually don't remember if I have to or not. Alright, so down... here, when I can actually get down there, is another chest. holding more Genji equipment, so I want to grab that. And uh, if dungeon crawling is not your thing, I apologize. This one is one of the longest dungeons. Honestly, one of the most annoying dungeons. But luckily, we only have to go through it once. Unlike, say, the last dungeon. But uh, that is for something for a later episode, obviously. I think there's two more floors, completely. So yeah, relatively long. may have to finish this up on the next episode, which I really don't want to, but I'm doing my best here. I mean, I could cut out all the random fights, but that would make the 
episode quite choppy. I guess literally. But I will say that I'm glad I brought all these potions. And I could only imagine uh, who brought, you know, just one magic knight into this. Uh, I remember reading... I, I guess it was kind of a walkthrough. Just to see how they did what they did. I'm not really following it, I'm kind of doing my own pace, but... They said, you know, you only need one magic knight, and I'm like, really? Who's... Who's going through this with just one magic knight? Who's dealing with, you know, only one character can not split the enemies while everyone else is just splitting enemies? Why wouldn't you have four of these guys? It's not like you're losing anything. Yeah, bring a black mage. It's like, I haven't really needed you know, full-on spells in a long time, actually. Genji helmet. I guess it's because they only had the armor for one character. Everybody else has just got demon armor. Just the armor itself, not the helmet and gauntlet. Who knows. But I'll tell you what. If, uh, we're really kind of done with the chests in this area, so I may just kind of skip to the end on the next episode if I don't reach anything good by the end of this. Because I think we've had enough. I don't know, I think I've had enough, but I can only imagine what you guys feel. Had enough of this place. Because all it is is more of the same, it's choose the right path, walk, fight some enemies. Have you fought the enemies? Then walk. Here's some more enemies. They're not even giving you good experience, so you're not leveling up or anything. But if I have to walk out, then I will... I will show the me getting the uh, at least doing the boss fight, and then because you know there's a boss at the end, right? This, this, why wouldn't there be? After trekking so hard and long through this, why wouldn't you just shove a boss in in my face? went now. Up. Ah, yep. Going down would have just been a dead end. Alright, good. At least I'll get this last treasure chest. And the rest is, you go left, uh, you get in the water, then you go back to the middle of the room, head down, and then walk around, and there's there's the fang with a boss in front of it. So I will skip to that point in the beginning of the next episode, fight the boss. Hopefully I don't have to walk back. If I do, I will split up the episode. But I do believe on the next episode we will obtain ourselves something that we've been looking for for many an episode. If you remember correctly, I only have three crystals. And we're right near the end. I think we're going to go for the last one. But anyway, I'm going to head down there. Let's see how this water goes.
And I'm ambushed. Alright, that's enough of this. On the next episode, I'll be right in front of the uh, item we need to get. It's it's just further down. It's one more invisible pathway. And we'll be in right in front of it, so... I'll go ahead and do that in between episodes, and uh, we will start fresh on the next episode. Uh, soon to be free of this area. So, I definitely hope you enjoy it. Uh, excuse me. I hopefully def... Wow. I am so annoyed with this place I can't talk anymore. I hope you will enjoy the next episode because I will not be in here. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.